fast chargers is going crazy from 5 watts to even 250 watts of fast charging bricks are available right now and if you see in the most charging bricks that is a word which comes associated with it which is GAN so we are going to talk about what is GAN what is that technology all about and how it helps in fast charging bricks to perform better hey guys I'm your host Arnav and you are watching Tech Arena let's go So before telling about GAN charges, let's talk about the regular charges. So inside every charges, there is a semiconductor through which electricity passes through. And that semiconductor is made through something called a silicon, which you all know. And because of that silicon shortage, there's a lot of problem going right now. And instead of using the silicon, there is a material which is now replaced instead of silicon, which is GAN. GAN is nothing but gallium nitrate and this gallium nitrate has a lot of advantage when you compare it with the regular silicon one in which is the smaller in size of power bricks so GAN can help the power bricks to be smaller in size and the second one it reduces the heat generated in power bricks and that is the reason why GAN material is used in many power bricks in order to perform well in charging now if you see this is the power brick from oneplus which has 33 watts and this is a GAN charger from Spigen, which is also rated at 30 watts. And if you compare the size of both of these, you can see the OnePlus charger is very much bigger than the 30 watt Spigen GAN charger, right? So this is the main advantage of using the material GAN. GAN chargers are always smaller than the regular power bricks. Heat, as I told you, regular chargers generate a lot of heat. And if you touch these power bricks when you charge, when you charge a smartphone, you can feel the heat which is coming through. But if you use gallium nitrate chargers like this, the heat generation is very less than this regular bricks. Now let me explain the technical difference between using silicon and gallium nitrate as semiconductor materials. But before moving on, you guys might have come across band gap in physics, right? That's exactly the reason why gallium nitrate is replaced over silicon. Silicon has a band gap of 1.12 electron volts, which is very less. And the flow of electricity is so high that it generates a lot of heat and energy. But if you see the band gap of gallium nitrate, it's nearly 3.42 electron volts, which is high. So the higher the band gap, the lower the flow of electricity. Now, you guys might think that, hey, it should be higher because the higher the flow of electricity, the faster you can charge. It doesn't work like that. So when the band gap is very less, it generates a lot of energy, which results in energy waste because there are so much energy which is being wasted, which is not needed actually. And the second thing, there's lot much heat when a lot of energy is being generated. Obviously, a lot more heat will also be generated. But if you see in gallium nitrate, because of the higher band gaps, it generates less energy and overall it generates lesser heat, which if you take in practical usage, it will be very efficient and temperature friendly. So that's the reason why gallium nitrate is being used in place of silicons as semiconductors in charging bricks. Now you guys know what is GAN charger and what are the advantages that these GAN chargers have over the regular chargers. Now let me give you a quick recommendation of what are the best GAN chargers available in the market for you guys to buy. In 20 to 25 watt charging section, you can buy Anker's power drive. So Anker power drive is a really good charging brick which has a good build quality and is also from a great band, Anchor. Anchor is known as one of the best third-party accessory makers. So you can buy that. All the links that I am recommending to is in the description below. You can check it out. And the second charger, which I'm going to recommend you in 20 to 25 watt power delivering capacity is from Stuff Cool. There's a model called a Stuff Cool Neutron, which has 20 watts of power delivering capability. And that is also a really great one. And in this, you have an extra USB type A port in which you can use to charge any other device simultaneously. But the type C to type C port is the best way to actually use fast charging for your smartphone. And in 30 watt GAN chargers, you can buy this, which is the Spigen uh, Arc Station Pro, which I have in my hand. It costed me only around 1,400 rupees. So it's really great. It's, it's having a good build quality, in fact. And I like the color. It has matte black finish. And I am using this to charge my Pixel 6 device and it works absolutely great. There's less heat and it charges really well because the Pixel 6 is rated for 30 watt of fast charging. So yeah, it, it works really well for me. And the second recommendation will be from Stuff Cool, which is a Stuff Cool Neutron. So there is a 20 watt uh, charger from Stuff Cool Neutron as well as a 30 watt charger. You can buy the 30 watt charger if you need and you can try it out. It has a good build quality and has an extra USB type A port which you can use. So yes, as I already mentioned, you guys now know about what is a GAN charger, how is it different from a normal charger and why is it being used in power bricks these days? What are the advantages that this GAN charger gives you? So if you have any other doubts, you can 
tell to me in the comment section below you can tell your opinion about gan chargers do you use a gan charger tell all the opinions down in the comment section below and as always a like and sub to the channel would be powerful and hey don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the notifications whenever i post any new video so for now this is me anup signing off talk to you guys in the next one